In this video, we want to look at different compounds and try to identify how their structure affects their acidity. When we do this, we'll look at different kinds of acids. We'll begin by looking at the binary acids, which have the general formula of H bonded to some atom Y. Acidity in binary acids is based on the polarity and bond strength. You should recall that bond polarity is based on the difference in electronegativity of the atoms in a bond. So for the bond HY, Y is more electronegative than the H. We would have a slight negative charge on the Y and a slight positive charge on the hydrogen. As the HY bond becomes more polar, in other words, has a greater partial positive charge on the H, that compound becomes more acidic. In order to help you with bond polarity, you might want to recall from previous videos what you know about electronegativity trends in the periodic table. But bond strength also can impact the acidity of a binary acid. As the HY bond gets weaker, the compound becomes more acidic because the hydrogen is more likely to be broken away from the Y. As the Y atom gets larger in size, the bond weakens and so the compound becomes more acidic. This figure shows these two trends between bond polarity and bond strength based on atom size. Another type of acid is an oxyacid. Oxyacids have a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen which is then in turn bonded to some atom Y. For oxyacids, acidity is based on the electronegativity of the Y atom as well as the number of oxygens attached to the Y atom. The first trend to know is that as the Y atom gets more electronegative, that means electrons are pulled away from the oxygen-hydrogen bond, making the oxygen-hydrogen bond more polar and therefore more acidic. The second trend is that as Y has more oxygen atoms attached to it, there is a greater pull of electrons from the hydrogen-oxygen bond, which again makes this bond, and therefore the compound, more acidic as more oxygens are attached to the Y atom. Another factor to consider is ions that have a hydrogen. In general, as the positive charge decreases, ions become less acidic. So if we have, for example, phosphoric acid, H3PO4, and the dihydrogen phosphate ion, H2PO4-, and the hydrogen phosphate ion, HPO4-, we would be able to determine that the phosphoric acid, H3PO4, is the stronger acid because it has the least negative positive charge. At the same time, we could compare the acidity of the ammonium ion, NH4, to NH3 and NH2-. These all have hydrogens, but which one will be most acidic? Since the ammonium ion, NH4+, plus has a positive charge, it will be most acidic, and the NH2- minus with a negative charge will be least acidic. In this problem, we're asked to rank the compounds from most to least acidic. We have HSEO4-, H2SO4, HSO4-, and HSEO3-. We can begin by trying to identify which ones might be most acidic. If we look at the charge, we could see that H2SO4 would be more acidic than HSO4- because H2SO4 is neutral. If we look at electronegativity, we might predict that HSO4- is more acidic than HSEO4- because since S is above selenium on the periodic table, S has a higher electronegativity, and so HSO4- is more acidic than HSEO4-. We could also look at the number of oxygens in related compounds. HSEO4- would be more acidic than HSEO3- because the HSEO4 has more oxygens. Therefore, the final ranking of these four compounds would be H2SO4 is most acidic, HSO4- is second most, HSEO4- would be third most acidic, and HSEO3 would be the least acidic of these four compounds. 
By now, you should be able to determine the acidity of binary acids. For those that fall in the same row, you would compare the polarity of the bonds, whereas for binary acids that are in the same column, you would compare the size of the anion to determine which one is more acidic. You should also be able to determine the relative acidity of oxy acids. You'll do this based on the electronegativity of the Y atom and the number of oxygens attached to the Y atom. Finally, you should be able to determine the relative acidity of related compounds based on the positive or negative charge of the species involved.